we're asked to determine f prime of x and f prime of two. First, we're given f of x equals six e to the x minus four x cubed plus 24. To find the derivative function, we find the derivative of each term. And therefore, f prime of x is equal to the derivative of six e to the x, which is equal to six times the derivative of e to the x, and the derivative of e to the x is itself e to the x, which gives us six e to the x, and then we have minus the derivative of four x cubed, which is equal to four times the derivative of x cubed, applying the power rule of differentiation where n is equal to three, the derivative of x cubed is equal to three x squared. And then we have plus the derivative of 24, the derivative of any constant is equal to zero. Simplifying, we have f prime of x is equal to six e to the x minus 12x squared. And now we need to find f prime of two by substituting two for x into the derivative function. Substituting two for x, we have six e squared minus 12 times the square root of two, which gives us six e squared minus 12 times four, which is minus 48. Let's also get our decimal approximation to four decimal places. Going to the calculator, we have six second natural log brings up e to the power of, enter the exponent of two, right arrow minus 48. To three decimal places, we have negative 3.6657. Next, we have f of x equals six times the fourth root of x minus three divided by x to the eighth. Before we can find the derivative here, we'll need to rewrite the radical as a rational exponent and then write the quotient using a negative exponent. Looking at our notes below, the nth root of a to the m is equal to a to the power of m divided by n, where for the rational exponent, the index is the denominator and the exponent on a is the numerator. And since we have the fourth root of x to the first, the fourth root of x is equal to x to the power of one fourth, giving us six x to the power of one fourth. And then we have minus three divided by x to the eighth, using the negative exponent property shown below, three divided by x to the eighth is equal to three times x to the power of negative eight. And now the original function is in the form where we can find the derivative by applying the power rule of differentiation f prime of x is equal to the derivative of six times x to the power of one fourth, which is equal to six times the derivative of x to the power of one fourth, where in the power rule n is equal to one fourth, the derivative of x to the one fourth is equal to one fourth times x to the power of one fourth minus one. And then we have minus the derivative of three x to the power of negative eight, which is equal to three times the derivative of x to the power of negative eight, where n is equal to negative eight. The derivative of x to the power of negative eight is equal to negative eight times x to the power of negative nine. Now let's begin simplifying. Before multiplying here, six and four share a common factor of two, where there are three twos and six and two twos and four f prime of x is equal to three halves times x to the power of one fourth minus one, which is negative three fourths. And then we have minus three times negative eight times x to the power of negative nine, which gives us plus 24 x to the power of negative nine. For the next step, let's rewrite the derivative function using positive exponents, where we can think of x to the power of negative three fourths as having a denominator of one, and the same thing for x to the power of negative nine. f prime of x is equal to three divided by two x to the power of positive three fourths, and then plus 24 divided by x to the power of positive nine. Now from here, if we wanted to, we could rewrite x to the power of three fourths in radical form, and let's go ahead and show that as well. f prime of x is equal to three divided by two for x to the power of three fourths because the denominator is four and the numerator is three, we have the fourth root of x cubed. And then we have plus 24 divided by x to the ninth. And now we need to find f prime of two by substituting two for x, which gives us three divided by two 
Let's go ahead and use the rational exponent form. Then we have two to the power of three fourths, and then plus 24 divided by two to the ninth. And now let's get our decimal approximation to four decimal places. We have three divided by, we need the denominator in parentheses. So we have open parentheses two times two to the power of three divided by four. Right arrow, close parenthesis for the denominator. And then we have plus 24 divided by two to the power of nine. To four decimal places, we have 0 0.9388. So we have the derivative function in two acceptable forms here. We have the exact derivative function value here and the derivative function value to four decimal places. Since the second example was fairly complicated, I do want to show how we can check this last approximation on the T84. Press math. Select option eight for numerical derivative. The variable of the function is x. And now we enter the original function, which is six x to the power of one fourth, right arrow, minus three x to the power of negative eight. Right arrow, right arrow again, and enter two for x equals two. Enter. And notice how we do get the same value to four decimal places. There's a slight difference between the two values because of the algorithm the TID4 uses to evaluate this numerical derivative. I hope you found this helpful.